Supernova explosions are one of the most powerful events in our known universe, the violent death of a star. When a star goes supernova, it radiates a tremendous amount of energy, also releasing the elements that make up our physical bodies. Everything from the iron in our blood to the calcium in our bones have all come from dying stars. In order to better understand ourselves and also the origins of the universe, we want to recreate things such as supernovas in the laboratory using some of the most powerful lasers in the world. Imagine being able to use lasers to recreate a supernova that could fit in the palm of your hands. Today, we're here at the Orion Laser, one of the biggest lasers on Earth, and Colin Danson is one of the creators of this laser. Let me show you around the facility. The Orion Laser can deliver a thousand times the power of the entire U.S. national grid in just a fraction of a second over an area smaller than a strand of hair. Squeezing so much energy into a small amount of time and space allows us to generate megabar pressures found in planetary cores and temperatures up to 10 million degrees. We are now inside the Orion laser, one of the most powerful lasers on Earth. Behind us here are the amplifier stages. Powered from below us, these light bulbs, not much dissimilar to light bulbs you would have at home, are powered here, and the light is taken through each one of the stages of these tubes. As the light travels through each tube, it goes through something called neodymium glass, which allows it to gain more and more energy with every pass that it makes, until they go into the next room and onto target. We're in the Orion Laser Hall at the heart of the facility. And you can see behind me the output beams of some of the laser beam lines delivering energy to target. The optics are special lenses with coatings which are incredibly fragile and expensive. And we have to be suited up in these special overalls and gloves to be able to handle the optics and even be in the area. Now the experiment starts. We carefully set up a tiny carbon rod and a gas-filled chamber and align the lasers in diagnostics. Once the target is blown up by the lasers, it drives a strong shock wave into the chamber, mimicking the violent processes found in space. And this is really important because if we want to better understand the universe, the origins of our universe, we want to recreate these kind of astrophysical events on a short time scale. We don't want to wait around thousands of years for events to develop. We want to recreate them within a fraction of a second and have control over all the different dynamics. By recreating these types of supernovas in the laboratory using these large laser facilities, we can better understand astrophysical events in our universe. But more importantly, we can better understand the origins of our universe.